Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is your home for five-minute Bible study that's always fresh, organic, and artisanally made just for you. This week we're looking at Psalm 106 in the second half of it. We read yesterday 30 through 34, today 35 through 39, and I think that perhaps this episode should come with a warning. Be warned, this is not a pretty picture. So let me read, if you're warned and you're you're still with me, let me read now verse 35 through 39. But were mingled among the heathen and learned their works, and they served their idols which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. Thus they were defiled with their own works, and went a-whoring with their own inventions. That's through verse 39. And as I said, this should come with a warning, because this is ugly, this is dark, this is wicked. This is one of those things that you might try to avoid in a horror movie. But we have it here in the psalm, Psalm 106. The psalm in this half has led us through the wilderness, Beelpeor, what happened there with Phineas and the plague. We went back and talked about Moses and the strife at the waters and how Moses did something that he shouldn't have done. Once they're in the land, they did not destroy all the nations. And what did that lead to? Verse 30, they were mingled among the heathen. You see, if they had gotten rid of all the nations, they wouldn't have been mingled among the heathen. And so now there's an influence there in the land that's drawing them away. They learn their works. They serve their idols, which were a snare. So they didn't do what God had said. They didn't cleanse the land of all the nations that were there. Some of the people remained. They learned how they worshipped. They were being good neighbors. And then, not only did they learn their works, but they began to serve their idols. Now, this didn't happen all of a sudden. This happened over time. The people forgot, and they fell back, and they retrograded, and backslid, whatever you want to call it. And they, you know, forgot the Lord, and they started serving these other gods because, well, that was just the compassionate thing to do. But notice what it leads to. Yea, they sacrifice their sons and their daughters unto devils. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that means exactly what it says. The god Molech was in the land, and it says that they shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. See, Molech demanded a human sacrifice. Children were offered on his altar. The god would have his hands out, a fire would be lit, it was a metal idol. The hands would be red hot, and they would lay the child on those hands. And, of course, immediately the child would die and would be consumed in the fire. And so Moloch demanded this human sacrifice. And the people of Israel, yeah, sure, why not? They're a part of that. And you say, well, how awful and how dark that is. But is it any different today in our land, in America? Because we sacrifice our sons and daughters to the idol of abortion. We kill them by the millions, millions upon millions of people have lost their lives as we've sacrificed to our own convenience, to our own sexual immoralities, to our own proclivities that we have, we have placed on the altar of our hearts. And that's what's happened. And if you go back and you look in Leviticus chapter 18, verse 21, the Lord told the people, I will never ask you for your children in sacrifice. And yet we have in 2 Kings 16, Ahaz, the king of Israel, sacrificing his sons and daughters to Molech. We have Ahab in 2 Kings 21, sacrificing his sons and daughters to Molech. We have Manasseh in 2 Chronicles chapter 33, sacrificing his sons and daughters to Molech. And if the king is doing it, you know the people are doing it as well. So they defiled the land with their own works. And ladies and gentlemen, our land too is defiled because of the sacrifice of our children that is running red with innocent blood. 
Well, I hope you'll join me again tomorrow as we look at verses 40 through 44 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.